Hi, I'm Matthew Johnson and I'm here with Arturia today. You might know me from uh, Wagon Repair or Is It Is What It Is or Freedom Engine. These are the record labels that I run. My name is Scott Monteith. I've been making music uh, under the name Deadbeat for 25 years now. And uh, uh, in that time done quite a few albums and EPs and remixes and, and uh, a good deal of touring and uh, continuing to enjoy it and will uh, hopefully do it for a long time. My name is Sarah Reef. I'm a producer and sound engineer and I'm a part of this beautiful studio space and we are collaborating together on different projects. We are here at our Rooms of Cairo studio here in uh, Berlin. The centerpiece of it, of course, is the um, AudioFuse 16 rig. It's quite a remarkable interface for, for a lot of reasons, obviously. There's also the possibility with the AudioFuse 16 to use it without the computer, that you can set it up as a dedicated mixer unto itself. To talk about the front panel a little bit of the, of the AudioFuse, there's some really quite interesting features that um, uh, on the on the left side, the outputs um, outputs one and uh, three and four um, from the back um, can also be utilized from from the front. So if you plug in outputs three and four, you can run those out from the front, and it will break the connection for the back. In in a similar fashion, uh, inputs one and two can be run from the front um, as well. And there's also a dedicated uh, mini jack uh, input for three and four, so those can both be broken. Um, or the connections can be, you can decide whether to use the front panel or the, or the re rear panel uh, inputs and outputs. For me, probably the, the standout features on the unit are, are probably the, the routing and, and input and output capabilities. Also, uh, the screen with the, with the inputs and outputs gives you full access to basically everything that the, that the software does. So you can, you can really control every parameter, every input and output um, to, um, from the screen without, without the need for a computer. And of course, additionally, there are um, various uh, monitor ins and outs, the uh, headphone inputs and outs, um, and then also the dedicated mini USB and also the USB hub that can on, on the front panel. session was great fun, no? It was like yes. a squirrely, squirrely, fun little uh, yeah, noodle session. Yeah. It was good. Some nice flow, yes. improvised. Yes. Exactly. Early morning ride to space. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here in the studio now, um, uh, in terms of Arturia products, we've got the um, uh, we use the um, uh, both the virtual instruments and the and the effects suite uh, very very extensively. I would highlight um, within in the software domain, which um, can sometimes be looked over, is the the um, preamps. Actually, the three preamps you will actually use. So when I started using Arturia products, it was the V collection, but I was it was pretty limited by my processing power on my computer, and and it's incredible actually, like how. It's um, evolved, and uh, and also just the the amount of instruments that are available now. Also, the way that it, you can integrate them into the hardware. Of, of course, the resolution is so much better now than than w when it started. The Mini Freak, of course, is a gorgeous, incorrigible beast. Yeah, it's been a surprisingly great yeah. joy to just recently receive them and already like cut such great results from each Completely. piece. When I create sounds, I usually want to use the voice and the characteristic of each machine I use. I would definitely say that there's um, uh, a sound palette that, regardless of the machine, that I always sort of end up in similar. And in fact, um, uh, I, when I was sharing the studio with my good friend Mike Shannon, 
some years ago. Um, he made the joke that whenever we would get a, a new synth into the studio, um, he, he was like, man, he was like, it doesn't matter what synth it is, you always end up making the same damn sounds out of, like, it doesn't matter which synth it is, it, you always make it sound like your sounds, you know? Like, really. yeah. Many times I'll, I'll do something to distract myself, like I'll read a book, for example, and, and actually just wait for a melody, melody to come into my head. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. You know, if it doesn't, maybe I'll just say, hey, okay, I'm just going to start writing some drums, and then maybe the rhythm of the drums will start spurring bass lines or melodies. Mm -hmm.